Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my June favourites. June means that the uni semester is over and I basically get about a month or six weeks off uni which is amazing. So all I really have to do is work and spend time with friends and film. So it sounds pretty good to me. I'm so excited for um, the holidays to start. So yeah, I haven't been using too much makeup through the month of June just because there's been like heaps of assignments and exams but when I did wear makeup I was gravitating towards the same kind of things so that's what I'm going to be showing you today so yeah let's just get started foundation I've been obsessed with the Max Factor Face Unity All Day Flawless Foundation and I'm impressed that I remembered the name um, I have mine in the shade Crystal Beige 33 obviously it's not what I'm wearing now um, because it is quite a lot lighter. This is for when I'm at my playlist. Through the month of June I didn't wear basically any fake tan I don't think. Maybe like once or twice but nothing like consistently. So I have been my pale self for the majority of the month and I have been leaning towards this. Um, I do believe this is very very similar if not the exact same as the CoverGirl one. They're made by the same people, they have the exact same claims, exact same packaging. So I'm going to leave it there but you can really judge in regards to that. Oh my goodness, I have been obsessed with dark lips and there is cars passing my house. Sorry about that. But yeah, so just a few that I've picked out. Cyber. And yes, I have worn this out in the world. And yes, I have gotten stares. But you know what? Who cares? Like, like the first time I wore it out of my house, I was like, oh my god. Like, what are people going to think? And then I just thought, you know what? Who cares what people think? Like, I want to wear a super, super dark purple like Cyber. I'm gonna do it. And no one is gonna stop me. Mm. I felt like click was appropriate. I don't know if it was. <laughs> and then another one that I've been loving. This isn't as dark, but it is really in your face. But I love it. This is the Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm in the shade Shameless. And this one is also really, really gorgeous. As you can see, it's not as dark as Cyber, so it is a little bit more wearable. And I have been using this as a lip liner also because, as you can see, mine still has the pointed tip, so I can just easily draw it in and then fill in the rest of my lips with, like, Cyber or something else. But, yeah, I've been loving this on its own or even as a lip liner. It's just a really, really beautiful color. Um, when I haven't been wanting to wear, like, super intense lipsticks, I have been opting for the... Carez lip butter and this is in the shade or flavor raspberry it's I bought it in a four pack and this is probably the darkest one that I have and it just gives a really really sheer wash of color oh man it's so hard to apply but it's that little color up there eh. yeah it's that color there and it just shears out on the lips really really nicely and that has been like an everyday, like especially in the mornings, it's so moisturizing. I am a big fan of the Carez Lip Butters in general. So yeah. And then I'm just going to include one more shade. This one's from MAC. And this is in the shade Sin. I have done a video with this before, which I will list down below. But it's basically just the most beautiful, like, I don't even know how to describe it. But that's the color of it there. It's like a wine color. And that's in the shade Sin. I think this is probably the most wearable out of the three lipsticks. Obviously, the Carrera's Lip Butter is probably the most wearable because it is so sheer. But out of the three lipsticks that I've chosen, Sin is probably the most wearable. But I have been wearing all four of these, like, on the regular almost every day. I think I Instagrammed one of the pictures of me wearing Sin, I think. Let me check. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should. Um, yeah. If you check out my Instagram, you can see me wearing funky lip colors. To be honest, I can't even remember what was in my last month's favorites, but I've been obsessing over the Kat Von D Ladybird palette. I think I actually did mention this in May, but whatever. Eight shades, they're all matte. To be honest, they're all very wearable. Like, I like wearing, for example, this blue color, this purple, or even this orange on the lower lash line. And really, they're honestly just really, really wearable because they are matte and they're not like super... I don't know, they're just really, really wearable. Concealer. 
Um, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm currently using the shade NC15. It's what I have on... Do I have that? No, I don't have that on today. Whoops, sorry. No, I don't have this on today, but normally I do have this on, and I really, really, really enjoy it. Other thing I don't like is the pump. It sometimes can be a little bit uncontrollable, but whatever. I hope they repackage it, to be honest, because the glass packaging is so thin, like, if you drop this, it would definitely break, without a doubt. And, like, the pump is just so annoying. <laughs> But the product inside is what matters and it's amazing. So yeah, definitely a favorite for me. You're probably gonna think I'm crazy and I've lost the plot. Like Laura, what? You have a favorite blush? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Benefit Rocketeur blush. Um, this is the newest boxed blush from Benefit and it's just got this beautiful like embossed rock chick-ish pattern in it and it smells amazing too. <sighs> But yeah, um, I just like using this like just as a tiny little bit of a color wash on my cheeks. But yeah, it's just such a beautiful, I don't even know how you would describe the finish. It's just really, really pretty. Can you see that there? It's that one there. Obviously, it's really hard to swatch blush because you wouldn't put it like that on your cheeks. Ah, I stopped recording! Ah! Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, um... That's a swatch there, but obviously you wouldn't wear it that opaque on your cheeks. But it really just has a nice sheen to it, which I think just brings so much youth to the face, if that makes any sense at all. I should have mentioned this first, but whatever. This is a primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Free Primer. And my friend Yagma also loves this primer, so I'll link her channel down below. She's super lovely. Check her out. Um, but yeah. Um, I think you can buy this from Mecca for like $23 and this is just the travel size. But I don't know. I think, I don't know if I like it better than my professional, but I have been gravitating towards this recently. So that obviously means I like it, but I'm not too sure why I like it so much, if that makes sense. Like I like it, but I don't know why I like it. Bronzer. I almost forgot the name. Now this is two bronzers, which is the same type, so it just depends on your skin tone. So obviously you can tell that I'm fake tan now, but from the foundation that I showed you before, I can be really, really pale. So I have been reaching for either or of my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzing powders. This one's in chocolate, this is in milk chocolate. I think they've renamed them, but you kind of get the gist. This is the lighter one, this is the darker one. And seriously, they are just so, so beautiful and so pigmented and they smell amazing. Like, so amazing. I'm running out of room to swatch. So obviously that top one there is for the lighter skin tones and this is for the dark ones. I'll probably use the dark one now because I am quite tanned, at least for me, at least. <laughs> but yeah, overall, this has been a very admired product of mine for a very, very long time. And I've had this one in particular, the light one, for about maybe since my first year of uni. And I'm in my third year now, so it's probably lasted me about a good two years. And I use it at least once a week, so it's definitely worth the splurge. Okay, guys, I think that I've finished my favorites video. Hooray! Um, I hope that I've introduced you to some new products or maybe rediscover some products in your collection, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.